What's going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here and I have a review for you of Orochi Volume 1 by Kazuo Umez. Now, Kazuo Umez was a huge inspiration for Junji Ito, so I'll leave a link to the playlist of my Junji Ito reviews. But I have to say, this is my first time reading a Kazuo Umez work, and I have to say, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed reading this story of Orochi. Now, this is Volume 1. This collection contains two decently sized stories within this nice hardcover edition. And so far, to my knowledge, Volume 2 will be coming out July 26th. This video is not sponsored, by the way, so just to get that out of the way. Anyway, contained within this book are two stories. Let's see. Two sisters hold a deadly family curse when they turn 18. Something strange happens. And then with the second story, Bones, sometimes the death of a loved one, they don't really seem to stay dead. And I'll leave it at that, but the main two stories within this collection center around the character Orochi, the character on the front of this book. I have to say, she really gives me like a classic 60s Bewitched vibe, and the overall art of the story is just absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's a really retro kind of 1960s or 1975 kind of vibe. Let me know down in the comments below what year this manga was like published in. I really don't know. But I think The Drifting Classroom was written in like 1960s or 1970s. But I chose Orochi over that since I really didn't have shelf space for The Drifting Classroom. Although I would like to read it sometime, just not now. But Anyway, I have to say, with my experience of Orochi Volume 1, even though this collection contains only two stories, it was absolutely memorable for me and really enjoyable as a reader. I have to say my favorite story had to be the Sisters short story, but the Bone story takes up a major chunk of the book for the rest of it. And it has like a total of 325 pages off the top of my head. But I have to say, I really enjoyed Orochi Volume 1, and I look forward to reading Volume 2 of this. So anyway, I give Orochi Volume 1 a solid 8.7 out of 10. Just go read it, give it a chance. I really do hope Kazuo Umez's work does get more official English printings. Like, I know there's Mummy Teacher, Cat-Eyed Boy, and then, of course, The Drifting Classroom, but I know that's already been printed in those big, thick omnibus editions with, like, different monochrome colors on the spines and everything. I saw a really interesting video by the Omnibus Collector about it, so I'll leave a link down in the description below with that video where I heard about the Drifting Classroom, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. The Omnibus Collector is a really cool dude, so. Anyway, yeah, that's my review of Orochi Volume 1, and I look forward to vo reading Volume 2 if I can, so. Anyway, this is Kite562 signing out, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.